Welcome to Carl Franz Total War video. Today I'm going to do a video about two-hander units in Medieval 2. As we all know before, two-hander units in the original campaign is regarded as weak unit, even can't match the mid-tier dismounted knight, thus negating their cost effectiveness. The main reason to this is due to their slow animations when attacking, so the one-hander swordsmen can easily get the better of them. If we're looking back in the day when Kingdom's expansion are introduced, there are many that claims two-hander units are finally fixed. The question is, is this really the case? In this video, I did some test between the original and one of Kingdom's campaign, to see how the two-hander unit performs against the one-hander. Now, the first battle will be tested in original campaign. We are going to pit Forlorn Hope against Dismounted Feudal Knight. You will notice that Dismounted Feudal Knight have a higher attack and ridiculously high armor value despite their recruitment cost. Previously, I have made a video about how units formations are actually matter and more important than units raw status, so I will do the battle twice with different formations, to see how much impact it will give in the final result. Half the enemy force remain. The battle is in our favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, victory will be ours. the Almighty, our end. This is a clear victory that goes to only men of great virtue and valor. Unit, await my orders. is in our favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, victory will be ours. Lord protect us. Our general lies slain upon the battlefield. Only half the enemy force remains.
to our lord. Our men have slain the enemy general. Now his men will lose heart. The enemy flees the battle. Thank God in heaven. We are victorious! Our soldiers have fought and died! Now after seeing the battle, no matter what formations are used, Forlorn Hope will still lose the battle against the dismounted feudal knight. The one-hander unit still takes casualties more on the second battle due to their tight formations, but still manage to win it decisively. Now we will test the battle again, but this time, on Kingdom's campaign. Many said that the two-hander units have finally fixed their slow animations, and become much more reliable to use against the one-hander units. Lord, preserve us! We have lost half of our men! are badly bloody. They have lost half their men. My lord, the tide of battle seems to have turned against us. We must act and halt this turn of events. Protect us! Our general lies slain upon the battlefield. This defeat is a bitter drink to swallow. Next time, it will be our foe that sups from this most foul cup.
enemy are badly blown. We are blessed. The enemy general is dead. We have sent the idiot to hell. Lord, preserve us. We have lost half of our men. It is unwise to praise the day before sunset, but our men are winning the battle and forging a worthy victory. The enemy flees the battle! Run! This is a clear victory that goes to only men of great virtue and valor! Now we've seen that Forlorn Hope can obliterate the one-hander units in Kingdom's campaign. Although they still can be outmatched with the Strek formations, the dismounted Feudal Knight also suffer heavy losses, reduced into half of their initial unit size. Now since I'm testing it on mobile, I can't confirm if it had any difference with the one on PC. Personally, after watching the two-hander unit's performance on both battle, I think there is no change with the attacking animation speed. If you noticed, the one-hander unit's stats are actually nerfed in Kingdoms, while the two-hander is buffed significantly. We can see the dismounted feudal knight status in original campaign are far superior than in Kingdoms campaign, while the two-hander units are the opposite. These changes are made so that the two-hander units can be used as intended. This change is also made with another units such as chivalric knight and men-at-arms. The two-hander units also given a few additional attributes such as powerful charge and armor-piercing weapons, making them a formidable force to be reckoned with. And guys I think that's it for today, so what do you think about two-hander units in Kingdoms? If you had any question feel free to let me know in the comment. If you like the video consider subscribe the channel for more videos to come. This is Carl Franz Total War and I'd like to say thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.